Look at that, guess who's back at the good old berry farm? It's been four long years <laughs> since we've been here. Too long, I've thought about it every night before I go to sleep. Feels like yesterday. The Boysenberry Festival is something that Knott's does every year in which they celebrate the rich history of the Boysenberry, which, as you may not know, was created very much here at Knott's Berry Farm by Walter Knott and Rudolph Boysen. You know what a Boysenberry is made of, Shane? It's like a, a two, two different berries. It's, it's three. How many times did I pop quiz you before this stand-up? Anyways, that's what this Boysenberry Festival is all about, celebrating the amazingness of the Boysenberry, and we're gonna be trying a whole variety of Boysenberry treats today. I'm gonna eat until I burst. Boys and butts, boys and butts. Oh! oh! Well, if it isn't our old pal, he's decked out. Oh, it's happening <laughs> to you. Boys Forever, and butt number the three. We're breaking the rules. Yeah, that's I'd right. Say. I mean, have you ever seen a happier trio in your life? I haven't. No, I haven't. Hey, everybody. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. What's NordVPN? Well, NordVPN is a private network service that makes your online experience both safe and easy. It's the fastest service on the market, and it's compatible with every major platform, such as Windows. Mac OS or Linux. With just one click, you can also connect to NordVPN anywhere in the world. They have over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. With NordVPN, you have access to your favorite content from anywhere. And because it encrypts your traffic, you can enjoy a super fast connection without the buffering. NordVPN also offers threat protection which blocks malicious websites, malware, intrusive ads, and trackers. Even if you click on a bad site on accident, Nord cuts you off before any damage is done. You don't even need to be connected to the server for the feature to work. Head to the link in our description for a massive discount on a two-year plan that even includes an additional month free. Thank you again to NordVPN. And now, back to the berries. Why don't we take a look at our little lanyard of tasting? Oh, right yes. Now. I, I mean, mean, did we both say I <laughs> yeah, mean? we sure did. So many wonderful things on here. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, this is the ticket to the kingdom. Let's but to heaven. we're going to have the kingdom brought to us. And speaking of which, our first item awaits. Let's take it off. Before we hop into this pizza, focus. I'm going to play a song. This is from a 1986 Knott's Berry Farm employee training video. And it's going to be the theme song for today. Uh, Are we a, allowed to use this? Probably not, but okay. we could play like five seconds of it. I right. love the farm. Oh, we do? Oh, that was good. I, I love, love the farm. farm. Oh. It's oh. a beauty. When's the last time I saw a purple pizza is a question on my mind, and I can't think of ever. When you were Never. at Thanos' house. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's making when he's on his little farm. Boysenberry cheese sauce. I do want to eat the whole thing. I did not eat dinner last night in preparation for today. Oh my God. That's an experienced boys and bud right there. After you, mon frere. You know what, after you. Okay. Look at this crumb. Look at the bite. I love when you've got nice little cubed meats on. I assume those are little meats. Shall we? Let's begin. Oh. I love the farm. I love, <laughs> I love the farm. <laughs> Why isn't more pizza this creamy? You're already putting cheese on it. Cream it up. It's almost like a white pizza, uh -huh. but it's a purple pizza. We got a purple one. I'm gonna start asking that when I go into pizza slice joints. You guys got a purple base here? That's cool, I'll just go to Knott's Berry Farm yeah. then. I'll I'm get myself out. a real slice. <laughs> New Yorkers. Hey, check this out to please all our East Coast fans. Oh, oh yeah, dude, they're at home clapping now. As you know, Walter Knott created this theme park. Yes, Daddy Knott. God bless him, yes. God bless him. In celebration of that, I'd say we make this a, a Walter scale. We'll give this whatever number out of 10 Knott's, or out of 10 Walters. I'm gonna have to come in a little low on this one. Yeah. I'm gonna give this one 10 out of 10 Walters. That's low? That is low. I think this might be 10 out of 10 Walters. <laughs> We're off to a good start here, and it's only gonna get better. I plan on passing out on camera. Um, now, Ryan, I don't mean to alarm you, but this does have a little bit of alcohol in it. A little boozy treat for, well, for those of age here at the park. Uh, you know Beer Gara does like himself a little bit of alcohol. The Burgoozler. <laughs> Let's admire the marbling. I'm gonna give you a little short history lesson. Annie is shaking her head behind the camera. 1920, Walter Knott opens up a berry stand in Buena Park. A visionary. In 1932, he teams up with Rudolph Boysen to make the Boysenberry. 
Within two years, they're making over 1,700 chicken dinners per day. And the line to get chicken is four hours long. <laughs> so long that Walter not being the nice man he is decides I need to make a theme park to entertain all these folks while I wait for my chicken. <laughs> of course, why wouldn't you? You know? Well, I gotta say, haven't even gotten it to the mouth. Thick. I like my cocktails booze forward and then the sweetness after because I like the aftertaste to linger and dance on my taste buds for some time. I gotta get to the edges of the wall here to suck up some of this sweet, sweet berry marbling. Look, I love milkshakes and I love an occasional drink and this combines both of them into a delicious little pairing. I, I regret to say, I'm, I'm forced wait, wait. to... That's a 15. Well, okay, I'm just trying to pace myself here. Some sense oh, that's actually a 15. That's a 15, right? Oh, okay. I, 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 just, one just... more sip was all it took. Oh no, is it Actually, gonna... it's a 17. Wait, hold on, let me catch Try up. Try one more. Oh my God, you're right, that is, a seven, that is a 17. That's a 17 out of 10. That's a 17 out of, out of 10 Walters. It's macaroni. Are there Fritos on that? Now this is a good moment in the episode because it's the first time we have to unsheathe our swords or our forks, if you will. Now I believe the poison of it all is, is it within hot? the chili. Oh, perfect temp. The this is the heavy, one of perfect the heaviest temp. dishes I've, you, need some help? you ever lift something up and it's really hefty and you're just like, boy, that's gonna be inside my gullet. The boysenberry is in the chili. I will say I am not the biggest chili fan. I know you're a chili head. Oh. So I know this is heaven on earth for you. Eat this and, and pretty much you're going to Valhalla. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Knott's Berry Farm, you did it again. You done it again. You did it again. The Frito's giving it that extra, just a, just a crunch. The bean softness is a different texture than the mac and cheese softness. We got a medley here. Would you say that this is a 31? Well, if you do the multiplier. You gotta do the math. You gotta do the math. I'm getting 32. I'm getting 32. You're getting 32. Oh, Let me check, check that math. You're right. These are uh, boysenberry pulled pork and boysenberry salsa nachos. Now, this is actually one of the Boysenberry Festival's colossal creations available at the Fiesta Dog. Now, they said this feeds about four to six people. 40? No, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it fed 46 people. It's a lot of nachos. It's a work of art. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we're probably gonna have to share one set of these nachos. So. Is it okay if we give this to somebody? You guys want some nachos? This is my gift to you. Enjoy. It's like a big old trough. And we're a couple of piggies, aren't we? Let's just admire all the different layers to this. We got some cheese, we got some boysenberry salsa, we got some crema, we got some boysenberries themselves, little chunks. Yeah! There's a lot happening. <laughs> Like all the good nachos, though, the, the flavors are all dancing together. It's gonna be 182 for me. They're working together. 182. I'm gonna have to go 181. Okay. 181, just keep it, keep it balanced. He's being honest. All beef meatballs in a boysenberry BBQ sauce. Fruit plus meat, very good. Fruit plus meat, good. With look mashers. At, look at these mashers. Now, I'm actually gonna try just the mash and the sauce I, first. I, you're reading my fork. Oh. A lot of times you get a masher and it's just sort of a muted taste. Yeah, yeah. You can really taste a potato in these bad boys. The sauce starts sweet, then it goes a little savory, and then, I don't know if you got this, there's a little bit of a spice at the end of it. That sauce ain't even going anywhere. No, it's not, it's stuck there. You see that? Here we go. Mm. Rating. I'm sorry, this is a junk for me. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. It's, it's 106. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint, 50 out of 10 for me. Okay, flying colors, and those colors are purple. Oh Goodness, I love a husk You on gotta a corn. love a husk. And I love horchata. You just love to smell the husk, you feel like you're down on the farm. Horchata okay, time? Okay, let's first start with the horchata. A nice good. little cinnamon stick here. Yeah. Ooh, I Ooh. love that. Oh my God, I took a sip, I got the hit of the that sweet rice. Smell. Oh, it's getting more berry as I go as I go deeper. Yeah, I know. This is like a perfect marriage between like an agua fresca and an horchata because it has like a refreshing element a to bit it. Of fruitiness. I love horchata. Hold on to your hat. Hold on to your hat. Check you, this out. Are you gonna fart? Check this out. Oh. Oh wait! I didn't even think about using the cinnamon as a straw. This is like oh. when I used to have red vines at the movie theater. That's right. Give it a go. Yeah. Ooh. I got it. I got it. Whoa. Boys in buds. Boys in buds. Boys in buds. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I think I just saw the Delicious. afterlife. I know. Yep. 100 out of 10 Walters. You know what? This is 115 for me. Oh, boy. This is going to make a big old mess out of my face. I mean, this looks wild. 
I should have packed my floss today, I'll tell you that. You ever eat something and it upsets you that it's so good? Because it's like, well, I gotta eat all of this now. Hey, 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 you're gonna bite into your finger. You're gonna bite into your finger. Swallow, Ryan. man. Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I was. Are you crying? You're gonna have to pull it together, okay? 152. 152. I'm gonna have to go 153, but we're not competing. That's a corn dog. Can corn. we set off the alarms? We got it. We got a CD alert. CD alert. Set it off. Why is no one excited? Could they not hear the alarm, or is that just in my head? Corn dogs might be one of my favorite items of food in the world. I've seen you high out of your mind. That's eating right. Eating a corn allegedly, dog. Allegedly, allegedly. One time Shane and I went to Disneyland. I don't know what that is. He asked me to go get him a corn dog and I said, sure. I was so out of it that I bought two corn dogs, obviously one for me, one for him. And I forgot that he had asked me to get him a corn dog. So I looked it, down and I saw two corn dogs in my hand. Himself. And I ate them both myself and I walked back to Shane and he was like, where's my corn dog? He ate them. And now I can see that it appears there's some boysenberry baked into the batter. Are you gonna go mustard or no mustard? I'm gonna do one sans mustard I agree. and one, and I'm a mustard hound. It's boysenberry, it's boysenberry mustard? mustard? Okay, let's go sans zimp and then we'll do one with the boysenberry mustard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. It's, it's really good. It's really good. Corn dogs are great because the sweet, sweet batter. It's dancing very with, savory and with sweet. With that savory oh. dog. Oh man, it's so good. All right, let's go to the mustard. Mustard and boysenberry are not two things that I would be think would be dance partners, but here we are. He's gone. I'd be gone too, but I drank a whole milkshake, so my legs don't work anymore. Come back. That's ridiculous. Come back. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna just start coming here three times a day just to have this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 201 out of 10 Walters. I, oh, I was gonna give it a 201. You were? I gave it a 201. You gave it a, what'd you say? 201. Oh my God, we have the same thing. Wait, did you not hear me say 201? I didn't even hear you say I that. I said 201. I thought I, I, thought I said it I pretty loudly, it. but. 201. Well, here we have a boysenberry beer, and I dare I say this is perhaps one of my favorite beers in the world. And that's saying a lot coming from Beer Gara. Would you say that Knott's Berry Farm has turned into your cheers? You know what, I would say I that so, yeah. if they would have me, yes. I mean, everybody knows your name around here. You met Snoopy. Take a sip here. Mm. Pristine, pristine. It's so good, every time I have it, it's so good. Quenches the thirst. Not overly sweet at all. No, it's just perfect. It's light, it's got a weedy taste to it. It has the perfect amount of sweetness sneaking in there. Oh, this oh. is gonna have to be 250 two, Walters two, out of 10. 250, 250? Yeah. 250, yeah, uh, yeah. We've been on the same page recently. Yeah, that's weird, but yes, you're right. 250 Walters out of 10. It feels right, and you what can if, only get it here. I know, you gotta, you gotta. I, I went to Ralph's the other day and tried to find it. They said they don't have it, and I, and you, I fought you them. And, I you fought them in the parking lot. Yeah, I saw it on TMZ. Oh, wait, it's dessert time. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. That is the wettest looking cake I have ever seen. Mirrored. This is beautiful. This is like when something sad happens and you just stand over and you look and you just see the reflection I am, of I life. I don't even want to eat it. You could see yourself in it. I guess I'm smiling. I'm going to say a disclaimer here. I'm not a chocolate guy. That's so, okay. You, do, uh, you shouldn't have to apologize for that. Just cracking the, the I glaze. I feel it's wrong. Actually, it feels like I should have get a in for a close up as we crack the glaze. Coffee. It's so much more gushy than I expected. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, actually, Ryan, less chocolate than you anticipated. Well, I think you can make a dance. That, that'll be me after I eat it. I'll be like, oh! okay, okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, I gotta eat more mousse. I was expecting maybe a chocolatey mousse, but the mousse is all berry, baby. They did it. It's good. They made you like chocolate. It's the just the right amount yeah. of chocolate. Six hundred and fifty-seven Walters out of ten. I'm gonna go three hundred. Okay. You know what? No, no, no. Wait a second. Think about it. Because the corn dog was 251. 250. 250 out of oh, 10 gonna, Walters. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 250 yeah. out of 10 Walters. I'm sorry, Walter. You can't say he's not being honest. Pie bar. Now, we both are pie guys. Oh, we are such pie guys. Now, I'll let you do the honors because you are the mayor of Pie Town. I suppose I am. Okay, I regret giving him that nickname immediately. <laughs> now, I love a crumble on top. I love a crumble. And I can see that the crumble is just slightly toasted, too. Now, let's give it a shot. Oh, you got a big boy. It's almost like a tiny piece of pie. That's the size of Shaq's thumb. The filling is great, but what really is the lead singer and what really brings us home is the crumble on top. 
He's going full Tom Cruise right now. We need I love this pie! So much of eating pie yeah. is about getting the perfect fork. A little bit of the filling, a little bit of the crumble if there's crumble. Mm -hmm. This does all the work for you. They actually said you could pick this up and like handhold it. Eat it like a piece of pizza. Go for it. No. I'm gonna try it then. I mean, it looks like pizza. Is, have they perhaps improved upon pie, which is already perfect? Look at the side of the crust. This is perfect to be handheld. Now this might come as a surprise to you, but I'm gonna give this a 6,142. <laughs> That's a lot of Walters. I love pie. I'm gonna have to stick with 250 out of 10 Walters. I'm sorry, I can't dethrone the corn dog. I can't dethrone pie. This is, I, my eyes are open, right? Yes, I think we've had, they're open, yep. Hey, wait, are they there? Yeah, they're there. It's okay. time for uh, the portion of the show that we call Ryan's Rides. That's where we ride what Ryan wants to ride. And you're the knots expert, so and I'm, I am the knots uh, expert. Know, I'm happy to seed uh, the decision-making skills here. I, I am the king of knots. All right, so uh, Shane doesn't want to get on this because we have- I learned my lesson in tourist traps. Yeah, I'm not doing it again. And we also have 18 pounds of food in our stomach and he doesn't want to throw up. So I'm going to get on by myself and Brittany's gonna play Shane. Starting to think this is a bad idea. I mean, I just had like a, there. <laughs> I have a lot of food in me. You did it. I didn't throw up. You didn't throw up. But I do feel different. Ugh. All right, now what? Eat more food? More food? I think we're gonna eat more food. Okay. I'm a little loopy. I got I got boysenberry brain right now. Oh, me too. I'm, I'm, I am a boysenberry. And I gotta say, when I get full, it just means it's time to keep eating. I'm just curious what the human body is capable of. Boysenberry float for children and the elderly alike. It almost looks, it has a, a Slurpee-like consistency to it. It does. Hey! Oh, Jesus. Get up, get up to my level, I man. Up. I thought this was whipped cream on top. It's ice cream. It's iced cream. Iced cream? Let's give this, a, how, how do we even do this? Do we sip it? That's mm. typically what I do with drinks. Oh my God, oh. that's like a Slurpee. Oh my okay, goodness. Okay, I'm back. Oh. Yep, <laughs> nope. I'm getting stronger with every sip. Can we mix it with the slush? That's the Zamo. You were waiting for the Zamo? It's the mixture. The Zamo. Zamo. Uh, I don't think I was getting carried away with the Walter rating back there. Do I need to recalibrate? You could recalibrate. I guess if I'm being honest, this is about a 7,521.3. I'm gonna have to go with a 200. Holy go. mother of God. This is yeah. a sandwich for you guys? Now you would call this a sandwich? A monster sandwich. Oh my. This is what I usually eat. This is perfect. This is a boysenberry pulled pork. This is not an exaggeration. That is without a doubt the biggest pile of fries I have ever seen. <laughs> the other day I was actually thinking that I really miss my childhood dog. Now I could go play fetch with my dog after this. That's true. My dog passed away several years ago. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go meet him on the Rainbow Bridge after this. <laughs> well, let's start out with a nice fry. This is my favorite kind of texture on a fry, by the way. Mm. That's got a nice crisp to it. I love a crunchy fry. Holy shit! Oh, Can boy. I just hold my arm up to this for like scale? Yeah, that's always a good scale. <laughs> okay, we've got this large piece of meat up top. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off some pieces of that, I guess. Oh, that's nice. I like the feel of that. <laughs> Was that a bone? I don't know what that is. Oh. Now this allegedly feeds to five to six people. Yeah. But in, in small print it says, five to six Shaquille O'Neal's. Yes, I was gonna say, may God rest their souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut off a, a big piece and then I'm gonna cut it in half for each of us. That's like, this is like one eighth of the sandwich and it looks like the largest thing you can get at Subway. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. There appears to be some slaw on here. Just you cutting that was the most exercise you've gotten in three I years. I know, the pandemic's been rough. Jesus Christ. Right, you're gonna you're gonna take a bite. I'm, I'm, going, I'm straight, going for it. I'm going. I'm going straight for the bite. Let's stop gabbing and get okay. It to here we go. That is incredible pork. Let's fall off the bone pork. Now I know all of you are wondering, guys. This is your 14th item you've had today. How could you possibly be still eating? You're gross. 
And you're right, we are gross. And it's never gonna change, baby. But we encourage you to try every one of these dishes when you come here. Uh-huh. In two hours time. When you definitely do get the poison berry and the barbecue sauce. I'm glad we didn't start with this because I probably would have eaten half of that. You would have. And been like, hmm, yo, this is delicious. I could eat this forever. And, and then I would have eaten the milkshake and I would have passed away. <laughs> Anyways, what do we rate this as a whole? Oh shit, he's tapping in. 8,265. And that's the, the weight of it or the rate of it? Yeah, maybe both, honestly. I'm gonna have to agree with him. 8,265. Walters and pounds. Yep. Thank you, Walter. We're closing our eyes here with the idea being that we'll feel the weight of this cookie as it drops in front of I us. I don't want it to sneak up on me, you know? I want I want to open my eyes and have it be like Christmas morning. All right, on the count of three, let's open our eyes. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, it's a scene. Now There's... that is without a doubt the biggest cookie I have ever seen. It feeds a small village. Yes. I'm confident that if I dropped this cookie off the Empire State Building, it would murder three people down there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> They'd think it was a UFO. <laughs> be like, Independence Day is coming true. <laughs> I'm very happy to see like a funnel cake type. It's like type a funnel cake an, base. An ice cream with a, a boysenberry lattice yeah, up top. It's starting to melt and just drip everywhere. Nobody at Knott's should be arrested for what they've done here, but. <laughs> At a certain point, they'll have gone off the deep end. Even the spoon is big. <laughs> it looks big in your hands. Yeah. Which is a feat. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to put the mic near it so we get the sound of the uh -oh. crack. Whoops, we're in an ASMR video now. Oh. That's good. That's good. Oh, yowza. Oh, there's so much cookie here. And I love it. Building a, a perfect little piece here. <gasps> what is that? I don't know what that is. I think that might be decorative. <laughs> Look at how big that oh. spoon is. <laughs> you would think you'd put all that in your mouth at once and you would just it would just kind of like glob together. It doesn't, it's a journey. Cookie and ice cream is already just a winning combo. Then you add boysenberry jam on top of that and Strong. funnel cake. That's some sloppy spoons for the sloppy boys. 10,000 out of 10, Walters. I was gonna say 411,000. You went up to me there, I won't lie. Just so, just so. It's been a great day here at the Boysenberry Festival at Knott's Berry Farm. And to be wrapping up here in Mrs. Knott's famous chicken dinner restaurant where it all began, it doesn't really get much better than that. Feels right, feels right. I imagine when Young Walter Knott conceived of this place when he bought that berry stand back in 1920. He one day thought there are gonna be two huge idiots who eat a cookie the size of the Incredible Hulk in my restaurant. And I'm happy to say that we achieved that dream today. Poison buddies for life. <laughs> that was grotesque. <laughs>